It's an all too familiar problem. Shootings in the Star City. Roanoke police say one man was killed Tuesday evening at the Cove apartment complex and then last night another man was hurt in a shooting along Williamson Road. Tonight, 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett is working for you live outside the police station with reaction from one mother who knows the pain of this violence all too well. Lindsay. I spoke with one woman who lost her son last summer at the same Roanoke apartment complex, and she says that this week's string of violence is forcing her to relive the pain all over again. Now she's begging for answers and asking for change. It's been the worst experience of my life. Brandy Hensley says she's lived a nightmare for the last eight months. I used to say I couldn't imagine what I would do if I lost a child. Someone shot and killed her son, 21-year-old Brandon Hensley, in Northwest Roanoke on July 1st, 2021. He was walking out to start his car and he got shot. A nightmare she was forced to relive Tuesday when another man was shot and killed at the same spot, the Cove at Peters Creek apartment complex. It's the worst feeling in the world. I feel broken. I feel empty inside. Roanoke City Police say 31-year-old Jonathan Woodall Ganey was shot and killed Tuesday just before 5 p.m. Police say he was rushed to the hospital, but that's where he died. Fast forward 24 hours and police responded to another shooting, this time near the Pancake House along Williamson Road. Police say someone shot a man there Wednesday evening, but he is expected to recover. No arrests have been made in either case. The violence is out of control. Hensley, who lives in Virginia Beach, grew up in Roanoke, but she says she doesn't recognize the place she once called home. I'm very fed up. It's sad. It used to not be like that. Months later, and Hensley is still searching for answers and justice. Why won't these people come forward so we can get some help? Not only for mine, you know, for the rest of these kids that's out here getting hurt. They need justice too. Police have not named any suspects in either of this week's shootings. As for Hensley's son, no arrests have been made in that murder. Reporting live in Roanoke, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.